It's minus six Fahrenheit in uh, Hudson, Wisconsin, March the 3rd, about 8.30 in the morning. But the sun hasn't reached the um, around to, to be facing directly from the south yet, but this just illustrates how much you can tell with these little tiny upper entrances I have. I've got the corks um, reduced, as you can see, and you can tell that this hive is alive because uh, and this one, and this one, and this one, and then this one is dead. And that is because the process of, of uh, the little bee, bee breaths getting frozen, when it gets to be like from like minus um, whatever Fahrenheit up until about five or six Fahrenheit, the, these will freeze off with the bee breaths. In the, in the night and then in the morning when the sun comes around if there is any sun and the sun lands on the front it actually actually starts to melt out just because of the heat that gets absorbed on the front and it all and that's all I really need to know to know if these bees are, are alive or not here you can see this one I'm pretty confident is is dead in this yard in the same situation um, most of them are alive. I only actually found two that were uh, in that situation. Um, and considering this has been the coldest winter for a long time, um, well, in my memory, it's, um, I think that's pretty good. I'm trying something different with these, with a, with a lower uh, a entrance to the bottom, but if I was doing this again, I'd make the entrance to the bottom a bit a bit wider. This couple of inches um, isn't very isn't very much. It seems kind of uh, like it might be too too small. And I had one hive uh, suffocate early on when the bees dropped down. But um, if you're able to to uh, it, um, have enough bees that you can experiment with, you can test what you find works in, for you. Now, um, my th my thoughts are that, that why I don't have an entrance at the very top, like some people do, is is that it just doesn't seem to make sense to me to let the heat that they accidentally make, or incidentally make, I should say, during the process um, disappear. So this is like a little a little compromise, and it's worked it's worked well enough for me. I can't claim that. Uh, that I, I I thought it thought it out. It's just a, a, um, a happy um, success. Now, some uh, I was talking to somebody else last night who's got nukes, and and her observation was that she got she got um, holes, but she had them completely open, and they were they were an inch, and and she got some that had been shielded by reflectix, and those were alive, and the ones where she hadn't got them shielded by reflectix we're dead and so I think that's because there's a there's a balance of how much ventilation you need versus um, how much draft you actually end up getting if you have a hole in your box somewhere so um, that's a that's about it I'm looking forward to spring there is way way too much cold for, for uh, my liking